Hi, welcome to GoCo Pro. Today we're going to show you some different uh, light on dark printing techniques and printing styles. The first one we have here is a sort of distressed image on a, a natural stone washed uh, t-shirt. Um, when we use a distressed ink it just looks a wee bit interesting. We've laid down one a layer and we're going to go back again and do a wet on wet um, just to try and build a little bit more ink through the screen and into the t-shirt design which you can see has picked up quite nicely here and we've got a better uh, depth of colour. When you use distress there we are uh, quite a nice wee image on a mottled t-shirt. The next one we have is a yellow ink plastisol we're using and we're putting this on to a 100% polyester Gildan running uh, top. Uh, again, we've done one pass this time, and what we're going to do is we're going to use a heat gun just to part dry or cure the ink that's on the t-shirt. We would use the heat gun for between 10 to 15 seconds, just to kind of dry off the top of the ink. We're not curing at this stage, we're just setting a nice top layer that we can then print the second colour through from. We can use a flash dryer or we can use our heat gun that we've got here, like a paint stripper or a hair dryer. We're using our mini print press today as well to show you how easy it is to produce these items on a very, very lightweight little print press. So we've got a nice heavy weight down there and you can see how the yellow ink has now popped up on the royal blue t-shirt um, and looks pretty good. You're getting all the detail, all the half tone, and you're getting a nice solid and a depth of ink. We're continuing with the yellow ink and we're doing a more intricate design here. So this has got um, a big block solid, uh, half tones in the centre of the wording, and lots of fine detail in the sketch of the motorcycle at the bottom. And then right at the bottom of the shirt, there's some little words. Uh, so we've, again, dried it off, flash dried, and now we're laying down a second coat of ink onto the surface of this shirt. Again, the yellow really pops at this stage, and it looks quite nice. It's, yeah, it's still not thick on the garment. So you can see how the half tone, 30% black, we created the screen from in the middle of the wording, looks a different colour, the fine detail on the wheels and the, and, and the motorcycle is absolutely great and you've still got a pretty good solid going through the middle of the t-shirt. All done on a little um, lightweight mini print press. Now we've moved to white. White is one of the most difficult colours to lay down on black just because the black so dominant a colour. So what Graham's doing He's getting a good base coat down again, we're going to um, heat this, cure it, and then we're going to come back and print the second. So we've heat pressed, and uh, heat cured rather, or, or it's flash dried, and now we've put down a second coat. The, the wording is the distressed image again, it's distressed font, and nice fine detailed lines, and we end up with quite a nice solid white um, design. Pretty good. And then we've got our nice lines and it's holding all the detail in the little lines. That's the advantage of a GoCo Pro screen. We're doing this mostly in real time and we like to do it this way so you guys can see exactly what's going on. So we've taken the same image and we've just put a blue, uh, same screen and we've put a blue t-shirt down. And we're not, uh, we're just going to do one pass here. Uh, the idea is we're going to get a lighter layer of ink, a little bit, not as heavy a white, but I think we'll end up with a more subtle image in detail, which uh, actually is what we've done. It turned out pretty good. So we can see here that it's not quite as white. It's, we, we've just hit one pass, very quick, very easy, lots of detail still in there, but we're not going for that heavy look of uh, white paint, white ink. Now we're working with white again and we've, we've, we're just going to take the same design, it's a nice little subtle design, uh, difficult to weed. Graham's putting two coats down on this one um, 
so that we've got a simple design that we're just going to print again and again on different coloured garments and you'll see what goes on. So we've not, not put cured there, we've just printed. These ones we decided to uh, do a layer in part cure, then do a second coat on top. So each of these lovely coloured t-shirts, we've already printed once and we've cured or flash dried and then we've added in the second colour. Nice colours, nice simple design, so easily printed. Now this is a screen with incredible fine detail in it. You can see some of the holes in the mesh in the master material, but most of them you can actually see. Uh, we've printed this design once before just to see how it would turn out. And when we print it, you'll see how much detail is not even visible on the screen, but comes out onto the t-shirt. One pool, we're not going to do more, and there we can see that we've got fantastic uh, shadows and half tones and details. They were there. In fact, we've held a little bit too much of the background because you can see we've printed tiny amounts in the square around it. So we shouldn't really have done that, if I'm, if I'm honest. We should drop out a bit of the background. But what an impressive piece of screen printing. Levers hoodies we get asked all the time for. So we've used quite a lot of adhesive. Uh, we've really made sure that the thicker garment is well uh, stuck down. Um, and we're going to use a white again, which everyone asked for, so that, as I say, the garment's well stuck down. We're making sure it's nice and smooth because we're going to definitely have to hit this a few times. What Graham's going to do is he's going to put down a nice, thick, even coat initially. Then he's going to go back and lay down a second one. So we're just kind of backing up on the, the one we've done. We're now going to uh, use our heat gun and we're just going to dry off the top of the ink. This ensures that we've got a good, nice base. Then we're going back again and we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to lay another two layers, if you like. Uh, first one just to get the ink down again and then a nice second layer as well and Graham uses a fair bit of downward pressure on these just to get a good lot of ink through the screen so we now end up with uh, quite a nice uh, level of ink across the, the hoodie this is an all we do hoodie uh, Rallowise item or that's where they it's come from they supply a good range of products um, again a nice consistency of finish and what we're going to do with this one is put it in a heat press and that will help smooth the ink out a little bit more it looks like a vinyl but loads of detail very quick nice uh, coverage <laughs>